Hello, my name is Pernille Lindsøy Andersen, and I'm one of the first authors of this manuscript on pain in hydrogenitis superativa. Hello, and my name is Gregor Jimek, and I'm the senior author on this manuscript. So why did we do this study? Good question. We did this study because HS, or hydrogenitis superativa, is a painful disease that presents with boil-like lesions in the inframammary, the groin, and the axillary areas. HS lesions affect the patients both emotionally and physically. Thus, psychological distress, depression, anxiety, and quality of life impairment is well documented in these patients. In addition, these patients suffer from anxiety and depression, which may influence their perception of pain. The aim of our study was to investigate pain in hydrogenized superativa in greater detail using the McGill pain questionnaire. Well, Pernille, how did we do the study? We handed our questionnaires to HS patients in our HS-specific clinic here in Roskilde, Denmark. We used the validated Danish version of the McGill pain questionnaire containing 78 words of pain descriptors. From this questionnaire you can derive quantitative measures of pain and you can also derive two qualitative measures, the number of words chosen and the pain rating index. We also assessed symptoms of depression and anxiety using the hospital depression and anxiety scale. And lastly, we needed to quantify the disease severity for the patients and we did this by asking the number of HS outbreaks in different body areas within the last six months. So, what were our main findings? Our main findings were that patients described pain as primarily shooting, itchy or burning. The McGill questionnaire furthermore this allows us to use words which describe neuropathic or nociceptive pain. An example of neuropathic pain would be burning. An example of a word used to describe nociceptive pain would be gnawing. Both words were chosen by our patients. We also found that patients experiencing symptoms of depression and anxiety had a more severe pain than, pe than patients without these symptoms. Likewise, for patients with widespread HS, meaning three or more body regions with HS. Our study is relevant to dermatologists and their patients because pain is an important issue to address when treating patients with HS. It seems like HS patients with more widespread disease experience a more severe pain. And furthermore, HS is associated with depression and anxiety and patients experiencing these symptoms also have a more severe pain. Our data also suggests that patients experience both nociceptive and neuropathic pain. This suggests that patients may benefit from treating these types of pain specifically. And these are different treatments. Nociceptive pain can be treated with anti-inflammatory agents and neuropathic pain can be treated with anticonvulsants or tricyclic antidepressants. However, to give more definite recommendations on pain management in HS, we need more studies.